I'm Old Snaylock. Welcome to another episode of Old Snaylock's Workshop. A while back I was at a little flea market operation and found this. This is a fence stretcher. It's very similar to the two-pass pulley system that I had when uh, Ryan and I cut down the uh, box elder tree up by his house when he lived up by Canadian Lakes. This is a fence stretcher, so it's a little lighter duty than that, but it's still very, very powerful. It's a double pass pulley. That means it doubles the amount of strength that I can put into something. Since I weigh about, well, right up around 300 pounds, I can put about 150 pounds into something just by leaning. If I can double that, that means I got 300 pounds of force pulling on that wire. I can throw up a piece of fence wire pretty taut when I'm pulling it that hard. This little device here is a cam lock. You put a piece of wire into it and then you pull the cam and it, the harder this pulls on the wire, the tighter the cam gets and locks it in there so that it can, can't escape. This device on this end is just exactly the same. The wire goes in that groove right there and the tighter you pull it, the harder you pull on it, the tighter it pulls it won't let go. You'll pull that wire in two before it lets go. And it has a nifty little thing where as you're pulling on the rope, if you pull out, it locks the pulley. Puts a brake on the top rope and doesn't let the, the pulley release. If you pull it this way, it lets you pull it back and forth. Pull it out, locks. Very handy for tightening up wire when you want to pull the wire taut and then run along and put some staples into it before it comes loose again. You just make sure that you have this down when it's on the fence and that way the weight of the rope puts enough strain on it, it won't release. The same place I picked up this regulator. It's a Milton Heavy Duty Regulator. Now, why would I want a Milton Heavy Duty Regulator? Well, the one on the plasma cutter went south. And they're about $60 to $70 to replace it. This one cost me eight. Now, I'm reasonably certain it works. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm reasonably certain it works. And they're repairable. You can put kits in these if you need to. And the kit costs way less than a whole new regulator. So I'm going to replace the one that's on the plasma cutter now because the adjustment screw on that one galled up no longer works. The piece de resistance is this Craftsman brace. It has the Simpson style ball bearing chuck. This ball bearing chuck lets you grip the bit much tighter, which is especially useful when you're running these expansion bits that lets you go out to a 3 inch diameter hole. This chuck lets you grip that so tightly, it doesn't wiggle at all. And with a good solid brace and a nice, let's see, 10 inch throw, you can punch a 3 inch hole without any trouble at all. Got a ball bearing palm and a good solid frame. The only thing it's got is a little bit of rust here, and that's easily fixed with some scotch Brite and a little oil. So we'll be taking care of that and uh, some damaged nickel plating on the thing. That should make it work really, really nicely. That'll take the place of one of the other ones that I've got over there on the wall because this is much nicer. And it's kind of a cutthroat business here. If something comes along that's in better shape than you, you get taken out of the workshop. Now. Fortunately, there's nobody here to replace me, yet. 
but I am looking for an assistant. So that's what you get for keeping your eyes open. And I'm very happy with my acquisitions. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop it out in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.